Good evening. It's six years since the Red Arrows pilot Sean Cunningham died at RAF Scampton after his ejector seat activated whilst his plane was on the tarmac. Today, Martin Baker, the manufacturer of that ejector seat, admitted breaching health and safety legislation. Our reporter Gemma Dawson is at RAF Scampton now where the Red Arrows are based. Just remind us what happened to Sean Cunningham. Well, Peter, it was back in November 2011, not far from where I'm standing inside RAF Scampton, that Sean was doing his routine pre-flight checks. And it was during those checks that his ejection seat went off while his Red Arrows jet was still on the ground. Now, this morning at Lincoln Crown Court, the ejection seat manufacturer, Martin Baker Aircraft Company Limited, pleaded guilty to a single breach of health and safety law following the death of the Red Arrows pilot. Since childhood, Flight Lieutenant Sean Cunningham had dreamed of flying fast jets for the RAF. And in 2010, 10 years after starting his military career, he was selected to join the Red Arrows. But the following year, he died after being ejected from his Hawk jet. The ejection seat went off during routine checks on the ground at RAF Scampton. His parachute attached to his seat should have saved his life, but it failed to deploy. Four years ago, an inquest heard this crucial nut and bolt had been over-tightened on his ejection seat, stopping the parachute from working properly. The manufacturers of that seat, Martin Baker, knew about the issue and told other foreign air forces, but not the RAF. We welcome the conclusion of the coroner, which confirmed what we, what we knew all along, which is that Sean was blameless and his tragic death... Excuse me. His tragic death was preventable. This morning, more than six years after Sean's death, his family arrived at Lincoln Crown Court to hear the guilty plea from the ejection seat manufacturer, Martin Baker. Its director, John Martin, seen here second from the left, admitted the health and safety charge on behalf of the company. Following today's hearing, Martin Baker released a statement. Firstly, and most importantly, we express our deepest condolences to the family and friends of Flight Lieutenant Sean Cunningham. It went on to say Martin Baker's priority has and will always be the safety of the aircrew who sit on the company's seats. A sentencing hearing is now expected to begin in three weeks' time. Well, Martin Baker has designed and manufactured aircraft ejection seats for more than 70 years. The company says that during that time, the ejection seats have been flown by 92 air forces. And there are still more than 17,000 of their ejection seats in use. Today, the Ministry of Defence has told us that the RAF is still working with Martin Baker and many of the RAF's aircraft are still fitted with Martin Baker ejection seats. Gemma Dawson, thank you very much indeed. Well, Sir Michael Graydon is a former Air Chief Marshal who commanded RF aircraft during the Gulf War. I asked him how surprised he was that Martin Baker pleaded guilty to a health and safety offence. Well, I'm surprised in that I hadn't realised that it happened in, until earlier the, this afternoon, but in many ways I'm, I'm pleased about it. I think it would have been agonising to have dragged it out uh, even further. As a former fast jet pilot, how does it feel to hear the coroner describe part of the ejection seat that threw this pilot to his death as entirely useless? Well, I don't know what he means by entirely useless, but quite clearly there were aspects to this. And I really don't have all the details, Peter, but there are aspects to this. Are the, the failure, for example, of Martin Baker to let the MOD know that there could be problems if certain things were done or not done, then I think that would have been... Uh, it was part of the, the, the tragedy of this, this whole thing, and I'm quite sure Martin Baker are mortified by it. Does it tarnish their reputation? Well, it clearly doesn't help it. I mean, I, I do think it's important to recognise that Martin Baker is one of the great, if not the greatest, ejection seat maker in the world. And it has saved the lives of hundreds and thousands, probably, uh, of people. So this, this particular tarnish is something that would have been felt very, very severely, I think, uh, by Martin Baker. I appreciate that. Um, what about the pilots themselves? Will it make them think twice? Will they have lost 
confidence in their ejection seats? Well, they'd have to answer that themselves, but my view is that, uh, and having sat on Martin Baker seats for many, many years, that I think everybody who sits on a Martin Baker seat does have confidence in it. I suppose that in a way they are taken for granted, but are pilots nervous around them anyway because of the possible consequences? I don't think so. Uh, again, I can only go on my own experience. Each pilot will speak for himself. But uh, you, you do your checks on the seat, you get into it, and then you believe that it will work for you, and you have to. And I'm quite sure that today's uh, Red Arrows feel about it, as does everybody else in the Royal Air Force and all around the world sitting on the Martin Baker seat today. Very, very interesting to chat with you. Sir Michael, thank you very much indeed. Thank you.